I had a really constructive meeting with Home Secretary, some of her ministerial colleagues, and leaders of the CST, which is the organisation that helps protect Jewish communities from, from threats. Um, we all recognise this is really unprecedented times. The convergence of a range of issues, starting from hostile states, the Iranian threats that have been um, pushed out across the world, including onto the streets of the UK with 15 threats we've seen here over the last 18 months. The horrific and gruesome terrorist attack by Hamas, killing over a thousand Jews, which is um, stirring up um, issues across the world, including here and causing anxiety and fear, um, and also aggravating our own terrorist threats here. And we've got over 500 cases of uh, related to Islamist terrorists ongoing in the UK that colleagues are investigating. The growth in hate crime, um, uh, hate crime um, against Muslim communities in London is up threefold, but against Jewish communities it's 13-fold compared to this time last year for this period. That's a horrific number. Um, and it's not surprising that communities in that context are fearful and anxious, and that's what we were talking about today. On top of, of course, the protests which sort of give vent to a whole range of different opinions. Um, I was explaining how we are absolutely ruthless in tackling anybody who puts their foot over the legal line. We're accountable for law. We can't enforce taste or decency, but we can enforce the law. Um, and we've made um, 34 arrests so far over the recent process. We've got another two, 22 cases on the back of those where we're searching for individuals, trying to identify people from photos. Um, and um, our counter-terrorism teams have got 150 cases triaged out of nearly 1,500 referrals. 100, uh, 150 cases of behaviour online, which is of deep concern that we're and we're going after those um, going after those individuals. So there's a massive amount of operational work going on, and it's important that you can help, frankly, with um, making that visible to communities that we're doing that because we really get this. And then the conversation finished really around the line of the law, and it's our job to enforce to that line. It's Parliament's job to draw that line, and the thought that maybe events of the moment are illustrating maybe some of the lines aren't quite in the right place. There have been reports from Counter Extremism Commission and, um, and the Law Commission um, and more recently from um, Sir John Saunders with the Manchester Inquiry Inquest talking about the law needed to change to be stronger at dealing with extremism and I know the Home Secretary and her colleagues are really charged with that and thinking hard about that. So a constructive meeting in difficult times where um, sober and determined heads are what's required. Where do you think the law is lacking around extremism? I think the law that we've designed around hate crime and terrorism over recent decades hasn't taken full account of the ability of extremist groups to steer around those laws and propagate some pretty toxic messages through social media. And those lines probably need redrawing. It's a really difficult thing to do. If you look at the Counter Extremism Commission report, which I was involved in some nearly three years ago, that has many examples in there. One of the things we found was there are countries across the world who are, have got different frameworks which have some advantages. I mean, for example, um, uh, Hezbollah Tahrir, who were protesting at the weekend, and some of their protests caused deep concern. They're banned in Germany. Um, they're also banned across most of, the, um, most of the Muslim world, but they're banned in Germany. So there are frameworks which are more assertive in some respects than ours, and I think there's lessons to be learned. But that's for politicians and parliament to draw the line. I'm focused. Me and my colleagues will keep being absolutely ruthless on enforcing the letter of the law and putting thousands of extra officers out in communities to reassure people who are understandably fearful given the ghastly events across the world.